ExxonMobil's present focus at the offshore Liza Phase II operation is commissioning the gas compression equipment to ensure that there is complete reinjection of the associated gas being produced there. Production manager at ExxonMobil's local subsidiary, Esso Exploration and Production Guyana Limited, Mike Ryan, made this comment in an interview the company released last Friday when it announced the startup of Liza Phase II. We still have a lot of work to do. Um, the spirit of the team is confidence and calmness and, uh, and resilience to con you know, continue the journey really towards uh, full gas compression and injection and that's where we want to get and then you know, we'll continue to ramp up production numbers but at the moment we're squarely focused on uh, commissioning the gas compression train. On to phase two. The production manager said that the compression train has been tested fully, but has not yet felt the full reservoir pressure. Expectedly, the team will be able to fully commission the equipment and reduce flaring down to pilot level, which is the minimum level of flaring required to safely maintain the operation. Notably, the official revealed that the compression equipment at the Lisa Unity FPSO has a different design altogether. So on Destiny, we have a screw type compressor manufactured by Man Energy for the second and third stage. The Unity FPSO has a centrifugal compressor for second and third stage manufactured by Baker Hughes GE. So it's a different machine. Uh, it's been fully tested. We have all the experts available during the startup process. We will step back if we have anything we're not happy with and ensure that we meet all of our expectations. Ryan said that the team has learned lessons from the Lisa Destiny, the FPSO operating at the Phase 1 site. The lessons from, from Destiny, um, what I would say, have been fully ingrained in our processes, meaning that each of the engineers fully understand what the learnings were through the startup phase and have applied them into design, have applied them into testing, and we're applying them as we bring on hydrocarbon and as we get the gas, the gas compression system ready to go. The government remains committed to its promise to promote the extraction of Guyana's natural resources for Guyana's development in a sustainable manner.